Hey guys, it's here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be telling you some of the assumptions that people make about me as a hospital pharmacist. Now this video has come about because I was talking to my soulmate patients and I was explaining something about what I'd done during my day, I think I was ranting or something, and then she was like, oh, I didn't realise you actually work on the ward, and I was like, what did you think I did? And then she explained it to me and I was like, no, I don't do that. So then I went through the whole effort of explaining to her what I did and all that good stuff and she still didn't get it. So in the end, I was just like, I guess nothing's changed. I guess nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. <laughs> so before we get started, don't forget to grab your cup of tea to have with Tez and let's jump right in. So people think that I go around giving patients their medicines when they're due aka a medicines round and I don't do that. Nurses do that, it is a very hard job and I'm very glad that I don't have to do that because it takes forever. But yeah, no, I don't give people medicines. People think that I diagnose patients because I know what medicines to give for specific conditions and I don't do that, doctors do that. So sometimes doctors will diagnose the patient and they might ask for my advice on which medication is the best for that specific patient based on the evidence, any other medicines they're taking and stuff like that. And I might give them a recommendation which they may choose to not take or they might choose to take. But either way, I don't prescribe stuff uh, as I'm not a prescriber so sometimes I do prescribe stuff under the direction of an actual prescriber and that is not the same thing because they tell me what to do and they do it which is not the same. The best way to think of a hospital pharmacist is Olivia Pope and her relationship with the President of the United States. I do not create problems, I just simply fix or solve them and honestly sometimes I relate so much to that Queen because I feel like I have to be twice as good to have half of what they have. Twice. What? Twice as good. Twice as good as them to get half of what they have. I've touched on this before but I sometimes spend time in aseptics and when I try to explain what that entails honestly I've just decided that it's best not to. When I've explained it people think I actually make chemo and I don't and they think I am measuring out like potions and 10 milligrams of this and 25 milligrams of that and I don't do that honestly I don't. It's a very hard job and I'm lucky that I don't have to do it so no. I do not make chemotherapy when I'm in aseptics. This one's quite funny, so people think that I sell medicines to the hospital, so they think I'm just chilling in the dispensary and let's say a patient gets diagnosed with a UTI and they need uh, antibiotics. The nurse will get a prescription for the antibiotics, toddle along down to the dispensary while I'll be there, give me the prescription and I'll give her the drug and then she gives me money. Like, where would the nurse get the money from? Where would I put the money? Like, it just... No. People are saying to me, you're basically a doctor. And I am not basically a doctor, sadly. I am a pharmacist. I'm sorry if you expect me to be a doctor and being a pharmacist isn't good enough for you, but I'm not a doctor. I'm a pharmacist, okay? Big difference. Doctors, pharmacists. No one has ever said to a doctor, oh, you're basically a pharmacist. Can you imagine if you said that to a consultant, like a surgical consultant, and be like, oh, you know how you're basically a pharmacist? No one would ever said that. So put some respect on my name, okay? Okay? Please, I beg. After they're done invalidating my job as a pharmacist, they then ask me for advice. So people always ask me for advice and expect me to know the answer because I'm a pharmacist. Um, when we go to uni, we do not learn how to diagnose patients. That is not part of the syllabus. Well, it wasn't part of mine. I don't know if I missed that lecture or module or what, but I don't know how to diagnose people. When it comes to, oh, I've been feeling ill for the past month. Am I dying? I don't know, okay? Chances are I'm going to Google it, okay? So you may as well just save me the step and Google it yourself, because I don't know, okay? Now, when it's in a professional environment and I'm at work, I can assess the situation and know whether that patient needs to go see the GP for a diagnosis or whether there's something that I can do over the counter, okay? That's different. Don't come at me with your rash 
I don't know where that rash is on your body. You're not giving me any context whatsoever and then expect me to diagnose it and tell you that you need antibiotics. I don't know. And even if you need antibiotics, because I'm not a prescriber, I cannot give them to you. Okay? People also think that because I'm a pharmacist, I have medicines everywhere and I can just give them to you. So they're, oh, have you got some amoxicillin? Have you? No, I don't. I'm not, I'm not a pharmacy. I am not a building. I'm a person. Pharmacist, not pharmacy building. Stop asking me, okay? Because I don't have it. And you're making this very awkward because now I'm trying to think how am I going to get it to you? I can't do it. If... I, it's the law. I am not going to jail and losing my registration because you want to sell butamol inhaler. Just go to your GP and ask them for it. I, I don't have it guys. I don't have any medicines that I haven't bought myself. I don't keep a secret stash, okay? I'm sorry. don't have any medicines. I don't have a garden where I'm growing all kinds of medicines there. No, it's just grass. Overgrown grass that needs cutting. I don't have medicines. After I've told these people that I don't have medicines in my house, they ask me if I can't just make it. Bruh, come on, I can I can't I don't know how to make it, okay? Like if I already told you that I don't have the medicines, that means I don't have it. I can't I can't make it. I can't make whip you up a potion, I can't whip you up some cream. No, I can't do it. Stop asking me. I, I can't make medicines. I'm just I'm just a regular girl. Who happens to be bougie and cute but I can't make it I'm sorry a lot of people think that I just work in a dispensary all day uh, dispensing medicines popping pills put sticking labels on boxes and I do do that sometimes not always sometimes sometimes always not always no sometimes that means some Thanks. My favourite one, which I actually wish was true, is that people think that I am the guardians of all the medicines, like, <laughs> but for drugs, and I wish that was true, but it's not. Um, doctors and prescribers can prescribe whatever they want without my go-ahead or say-so. Sometimes I try to persuade them not to, but if they want to, they will, and that's just the reality of it. I am not a guardian of medicine. I do not keep the medicines locked in a cupboard and need verification before I open the cupboard and give you medicines. I, I, I don't do that. Those are the most common misconceptions people have about my job as a hospital pharmacist. Only a couple actually annoy me. I know the rest of them are just a bit of banter and I accept it as I do partake in the banter. Moving on to book of the video which is Zikora, A Short Story by Chimamanda. You guys know I love Chimamanda and the reason I'm recommending this book is because it taught me that you can use buscopan for period pain. Now, if you didn't know, <laughs> I'm a pharmacist and I didn't know this and it does make sense because it is cramping in your stomach and buscopan can be used for that. And it is actually a good book, I just don't remember what else it talks about at this moment in time because I overload myself on books and the minute I stop reading I forget. But yeah, I highly recommend it. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any video suggestions and until next time, bye for now.